hello everyone um, welcome to another video tutorial today we'll be looking at how to um, fix a trouser band how to fix a belt holder and also um, how to couple a trouser yes how to couple both legs of a trouser so today's video will be taking more than 10 minutes because of um, we have to take you through the basics of all you need to know so right now i'm um, on your screen we are doing the the the, the, the um, belt loops or they call them the belt holder so we are trying to um, sew them together usually it comes in eight pieces six pieces or um, seven pieces it depends on the w the waist of um, the trouser so this one the waist is 39 or 38 so we are going to make it just six pieces so there are different ways of making a, a belt holder this is one of the ways which you see on your screen right now but if it was a pant a pant trouser it is different it is quite more strenuous than this but because this is a, a chinos material that's why we are sewing, actually sewing it like this so um just enjoy the process as you watch and uh, make sure you learn one or two things from it so each 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 length of um, the length of each of the trouser loops or the belt holders should be at least four inch long four inch long do not forget that they have to be four inch long and all have to be the same size one should not be longer than the other they have to be the same size so i'm just trying to prepare it because without this if i don't prepare it right now and i fix the band of the trouser it will be very difficult it will be very difficult i can't be fixing the band and um, be fixing the trouser loops at, at the same time too so that's why i'm taking it one step at a time so this is one part of the trousers that is the front part one one part of the front and also one part of the back they've been sewn already together so i have to first of all for me to put the band i have to first of all measure the waist when i get the waist i'll divide it by two so say this waist is um 39 or 38 so i've divided by two then i'll get um the actual number which is um that should be 19 or there about or 18 when i get it then i'll leave one inch one inch in front or one and a half inch in front so that i can start placing my belt belt strap or my belt holder so this i just am measuring now they have to be six inches apart from each other from the first to the other one have to be six inch apart from each other so to make it easy for me instead of measuring the other side because of the chalk i've used i'll just you know um press use the, the one i've measured to mark the other one you can see it right there you can see it here yeah, i've measured there i'm just re re redoing what i did in the first part using the chalk again so um you might also want to measure the other part if, if you don't want to trace you can measure it just, you can also measure it again for accuracy but because of i'll be doing this for a while that's why i don't need to measure i just you know because i'm sure of the calculations so this is my belt strap there yeah, sorry my band that has been cut already it is four inch um, wide and it is around 40 inch long so that's why i need you are seeing there is also my gum stay with the help of a pressing hot pressing iron i've been able to put it on that uh, material so that is the back you won't see it when each other is finished you won't see it so I'll, i'm about to start sewing so as i sew i will also insert my belt strap one after the other on those marked places the places I marked with the chalk, I will also put my belt holder there. And as soon as, as the machine climbs it, I, I will stitch it very well. You're going to see it very soon. 
Yeah. So you can see how I put, I'm inserting them one after the other. Sorry, my, my thread keeps messing up, so just have patience with me. So I trim that part is not it's not a wasted part. I'm also going to use that part I'm cutting out on the other parts of the trouser. That is the other part of the um, that is the left, the front and the back part of the trousers. You know this is just one part of it. I've not put them together. I've not um, should I say align them. So when I finish, I also have to top stitch, top stitch that belt holder so it will be firm. Top stitch it from the inside so it will be firm. So my belt, no matter how hard it is or no matter how um, tight my trousers are, it won't pull off. It won't pull off. So that is that for this part of the trouser. We'll soon move over to the other part. So this is the other one. I also re repeat the same process I did just some minutes ago. Remember, I threw that band. Is, the one I cut out is not wasted, so that's what I'm holding right there, and I'm about to place it. Make sure the band and um the trouser itself are on the same level you can see right now on your screen um i didn't this gum stay is not i didn't gum it very close to the to the material i left some space on the top that space i left is for the sewing i'm not sewing on top of the gum stay i'm just sewing just in that space that is the space i left i left it on purpose for sewing so that why sewing if you put the gum, if you sew on top of the gum stay, the machine needed you're going to squeeze it, and it will make your work very rough. So to avoid that, you have to lot leave a space for sewing, half inch, half inch. That's what you should leave. Sorry about my machine. This thing happens when you are, you are using a soft needle for a very hard material. This is the chinos material. It's very very hard, so it tends to happen. It's not. It shouldn't be a surprise or a problem to you.
So gently, we are almost done fixing the other band. So I'm done with that and um, I, then to get the band in very good shape, I will be fitting for the trouser, I will twist it, I will twist the band behind itself, then I will stitch to close the mouth. This is where the button or the button hole will be, so I have to close it, then I will trim the excess part out. Don't worry, I also have to out top stitch the belt holder. I've not forgotten. I'll do that. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> you can see I'm not cutting this straight. I, I made it this I cut it in this slant form so the shape is gonna come out very well. You can see. You can see what, what I'm talking about. The band is almost set. I also repeat that same process in the other part of the trouser. So I'm trying to, I'm top stitching now like I said earlier. Done. Then, um, all I do now, you can guess, <laughs> I'll have to sew the down parts of this band. Yes, I'm using it just to bring out the shape. That's why I'm using it to start inside the band, so the shape will come out very well. So I'm trying to join the trousers very well right now, both the front and the back. I'm trying to put them in the right position to, to align them. So I sew. When sewing this part of the trouser, you have to make sure it is very tight because this is the buttock. This is where this is what's a, um, this is the divider. Like when you sit, this is where the pressure comes. The pressure. This is where the pressure relaxes. If it's not tight, the trouser might tear, and that's that man. You can disgrace someone. You can actually make someone feel very ashamed. So you have to make it very tight. Some tailors even go a long way by sewing that same, that same spot twice. I think I'm going to do right. I'm, I'm going to do that now so you see. Or sew it twice to make it very tight. Especially when you're not sewing a tinous material, you have to um, sew it twice so uh, it doesn't lose. Tinous material are harder. It doesn't, it doesn't lose or tear easily, you know. But I'm just doing it to let you know, to let you understand what I'm trying to do, or trying to say rather. So here I'm closing the um, the band, 
closing the band finally. That is the SS, so I'm trimming them out. So in the next say fifth, um, nine or eight minutes, we'll be out. We'll be done with this fixing of band and uh, you can see they're together already. So can see I'm sewing it again so now it is very strong no matter how I stretch or anybody that wears it stretches his leg it won't get it won't tear easily So I'm done with that now to the band proper now I'm folding the the band from where I've ironed from where that gum stay stopped after I've ironed it I'm folding it down again to finally couple it on the trousers this part will be very strong so make sure your your, your machine is in a very good shape before you can do this okay, because I'll be also putting in the what's it called uh, the best strap I'll be finally I'll be putting the final touch on the best strap in this process When doing this, you have to always check underneath to make sure you are sewing the right thing. Because sometimes you might be sewing and um, you're not sewing what the band. You're just sewing um, something else. So as you sew, you check underneath if you're really getting the, the, the parts you want to sew. Like you can see on your screen right now, you can see where I'm actually sewing. You can see those, um, what's it called? The extra under, that is why it is four inches two inch outside then two inch inside so I'm in a hurry, we're almost done, we're almost done. In five minutes we'll be out.
So um, I'm done with that. I just have to stitch the top to make it firm. This is part where I um, I put final touch on the belt, belt strap. Make sure you always teach, you stitch it when you So, uh, <laughs> so in two minutes we'll be done with this um, band fixing. Just trying to put some very good final touches to it. I'm making it as well. Just the last one. Make sure you always teach after fixing everyone. So, here it is, the band has been fixed, finally. There's actually the button hole, um, there's actually an e machine for this, but since we can't um, get it for now, that's why uh, we are doing it this way. Thanks for watching. Always remember to come back to this channel to check out more sewing hacks, more sewing techniques. Hope you really enjoyed your time. Till so meet again. Bye.
Bye bye. Thanks. Make sure you refer your friends to this. <laughs>